Cancer. This is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Oh, man. This is something's it's coming back to life, guys. This is our butterfly moment. This is the time when we emerge. This is a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. It is your message. If you want a personal message, you got, you have something going on and you need like a deep dive into the situation, then then ring me. No, uh, go to my website and then book and schedule at your own convenience over there. There's a lot of different services to choose from, so you choose the one that that suits your situation. But this message is a general message. Um, for cancer energy and it's timeless which means it comes to you when you call it into you it's not it's not a specific date but it does cast for like a week ahead that's why I call it the week ahead cast out of course we can get some uh, further casting as well too so it just depends on what's indicated when I do the reading but that being said there is a new message for you every single week cancerians so please uh remember to subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell so that you know when i upload your favorite content all right cancerians we're just about there let's go Cancer, this is a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please, God, truth and honesty and how to guide Cancerians back to health and prosperity. Nothing more has come out. It's okay. We've got a lot on the table. So let me, I want to make sure that you guys can see all this. Okay. So this is how it kind of fell out and scattered. And of course, you guys know that where and how the cards land and behave also was part of my message so in the center first card out was transformation is beautiful this is resurrection this is this is scorpionic energy but it's that resurrective aspect of scorpionic energy that sense of coming back to life but not as the same but as the 2.0 version of yourself like the new and improved version of yourself like really getting back into things and life life and flying wings okay i'm excited <laughs> this to me is very happy news it could also be because you see this is the 11 card there are other cards that add up to 11 but this is the 11 card so it's like i am awakened i have woken up i have risen this is resurrective energy <laughs> um let's go in the past the past only arrives or turns out when it is directly impacting something that is happening in the present time so let's get to that we have trust in divine detours life took a curve life took, life took a curve now this could be a couple years ago and you just jumped on in <laughs> it just jumped on in this seems like really actually happy so it's almost like that might be what's resurrecting like the good times or or just feeling like there's activity again right some sort of trust in divine detours moving six plus one and one plus six is a seven so there's some sort of activity and work building something maybe actually physically moving going into another ge geological geographical location and trust in the great mystery just allowing yourself to dive in this is also 11 which means it was kind it was faded Fated for you to move or fated for you to take that turn in your life or for your life to go onto that detour. It also says that you just sort of rode the wave. You just, you just dove right into it. You, you just you went along with it. And that's wonderful. And now it's like resurrecting. Is it resurrecting that mentality? Is it resurrecting what happened to you back then? We're going to see. Um, we have spirit has a plan this is coming into the future now so this is conscientiousness of you can feel the fate you can feel it directing you and pulling you 
and there's a lot of a, a, there's a, a grounded sense of connectivity to what will happen or what's supposed to happen or or the outcome of things working themselves out trust in the magic come on now trust in the magic you know something new is on its way something brand new and the awareness of that is is really quite exciting for you and momentous <sighs> nothing is wasted now that's the treasure in a, a trash heap card it's also a lot of wisdom so whatever you've been going through whatever whatever the oven pressure cooker you're under it is all molding you into is that version of yourself that can fly so this is that spiritual message and we've got to get those bit points of like what exactly this is how does this translate into the 3d which is what we're going to go into now god what's resurrecting abundance there's also motherhood too so abundance could also stand for um replication or propagation so <laughs> where there was one or two now there's three but it's some sort of there you go three it's a three card that's that's the uh empress so there's abundance resurrecting again turning back online or propagation which means you're multiplying things are going to start to multiply again so what is this newness trust in the magic what is this newness there's a move there's progress there's moving forward there's innovation and in figuring things out figuring the most innovative and prosperous direction what is this newness this is listen this is a real <laughs> this is a real easy read <laughs> cancerian readings are usually very difficult for me because i am a cancerian so this is real clear like I'm, I'm not getting any fuzziness here what's coming something to celebrate happiness and also confirmed three we're getting a lot of threes here do you see three 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 what's this so this is divine divinity divine balance but what's the third thing this is the newness it's happy i can tell you that right now it it's celebrated it's we're going to be very glad for it this is not too far out this is not this is i don't know it's, it's past the end of this week so what is this third thing what, what is the three god what is it oh there was separation or distance that doesn't seem right being left behind okay so leaving something behind being left behind it, it has to do with a part of yourself that was cut off or something that you left behind or someone that you left behind there's justice here that you can't understand there's sort of a choice or a decision finally made with regards to some sort of veil or or distraction that was put up this is that libra energy something that was confusing or it wasn't quite decided upon there's some sort of justice coming out of that especially if it was something that cut you off dumped you and left you for nothing so now we're getting a little bit deeper into it but we're saying what what is coming out with is the justice card is finding justice for now what was this stuff what was this stuff what what okay let me maybe get another what what is this stuff i, I need more i need to understand what is the seven of cups all this selection all this choice all this garbage opportunity could be jobs could be financial could you just be your value something had cluttered it something had cluttered the selection pool and really fucked with you because you ended up getting tossed out so something that was going on that happened what was this what was going on what made this happen i think cancerians kind of want to know there's some heartbreak here you're getting victory over heartbreak 
that this is another three. So if you thought that there was other options, there was somebody else but you, or, or you were getting cast aside for a lot of other selection or choices, or something that you were trying to do or make was, was bombarded with either competition or other people distracted by other people, and it was breaking your heart and really fucking with you and cutting you out, if you have felt that, if you have felt invisible lately, if you have felt like, like nothing is making sense, people just want to dump on me all the time, if you have felt those things, not only is that going to stop, but it's going to get revealed as to what the fuck was going on. And that's what I'm trying to get the answers to now because you have victory over this heartbreak and you end up winning anyway. Even though somebody was trying to throw a bunch of other things in the mix to distract people from you, from discovering you, feeling like you never stood out, but you do, right? It's just that what I'm seeing is like somebody's, it's, say there's like a diamond on the table and somebody's like throwing all these cubic zirconias all around it to try to like, so nobody will see the diamond. The diamond's getting lost. And there's anger and there's frustration and there's upset, right? Like you think you're just one of many, you're just, you're just one of the selection, but you're not one of the selection. There is something here that is like an offer that's going to be made to you, finally standing out. The opportunity is yours. So what the, I, I don't mean to be petty God, but like, what was this shittiness? We have a uh, king of pentacles here could be somebody with just a traditional sense of what they wanted could be job could be bosses could be somebody with a lot of money who was making things go their way that didn't answer my question what was this please god i don't understand it's almost like the this is what i just heard the dust had to settle because you kind of did get lost in the sandstorm but the dust had to settle. What was this? What was this? What was this? You had to make a decision to take action, even though you didn't have the full story or weren't sure because it could have gone one of two ways. But you had to make a decision. Your decisions have more power than you give to them. It's almost because you've decided it, it is so. Capricorn got a similar message. Eight of Swords is walking away. There was a decision between you and somebody else and you got left in, you got cut. You got cut. Because of some other fuckboy energy that got in there. And this is the devil card here. The devil is here. Yeah, fear, disconnection, also temptation. If that's the case, you also got... It's because of some bullshit asshole. That's what I keep picking up. Bless you. Why is the devil here? It just feels like whatever you lost, it's good. Like somebody, I don't, what the, what, what, what? You're saying Cancerians did what? Yeah, they, they, somebody left you in the, in the, in the shithole. Could have even been financial. What, what is this devil here for? What is the devil here for? It's not coming out. It's not coming out. Let me read what's on the table. Somebody's about to get thrown in jail. Somebody's about to get ousted. I don't know what that means, thrown in jail. It could be metaphoric. Like somebody, it's like the devil is going to become a parent. And that's what's being left in the in be, like behind, and so ultimately, what has to happen is 
justice and that's what the car the cosmic justice is it's like it really doesn't even have to do with your actions anymore it's just some other piece of shit player who's causing all this trouble getting caught and they're the ones that are going to is going to get rejected finally because they thought they had the whole situation manipulated and planned and plotted and and it may not even be somebody you directly know but ultimately that's what's going to happen and that's the confrontation and what comes out on the other side queen of cups is healing and abundance and gratitude and offers of value for that queen of cups which would be represented by that's you it's like money's coming in or value is coming in or sustainability um sustenance certainty is coming in and i have to say if you want a timeline maybe a month two months like it's not far from now nothing is wasted what do you mean by this like all in other words all this time and all this struggle was not a waste it was a time of lessons and understanding because when you come back with so much more abundance now you're going to be awakened to the struggle you're going to be awakened because of the struggle that you had endured and that abundance is going to be so much more valuable to you you're going to be so much more clear on it aware of it and ready and prepared to not take advantage of it and not and like to treat it as the blessing that it is because it certainly is i want oh we gotta get a moon card let's get a moon card for cancerians i swear because i felt it listen i felt the air starting to lift even though i don't necessarily see anything shifting or changing yet i have felt it and i just can't describe it and sometimes you just don't have to describe it right you just have to kind of go go with it your commitment is being tested oh yes it is bring love into the situation and prosperity lies ahead so it's like bring love into the situation you know what that means that means bring god into the situation connect your commitment is being tested because you're looking at what you have what's tangible if you reconnect to god it's not going to be an issue so you're proceeding in faith and then we have prosperity lies ahead this is taurus energy new moon and taurus is coming um we're going to have a new moon in pisces soon that's like the february 9th or something like that pisces air two months and the end of a tough cycle approaches and that's the capricorn like you've been restricted you felt really really deprived you felt really really held back you felt really like tied up and and left out of all different kinds of prosperity take time to breathe out let yourself relax and this is all coming out now it's like this is this is this is a sham this isn't your truth let this pass because whatever this damn sandstorm is you just got to know who you are and where you are to stay connected and ultimately value what you have protect what you have and be there when it blows over because that's what's about to happen let's go to the extended guys i will see you there